Today, Flutter and React Native are leaders among cross-platform app frameworks. And both of them just keep getting more popular. But one of the questions mobile developers often ask is, what should I choose, React Native or Flutter? My name is Daniel, and today we will dive into the topic of Flutter vs React Native. We will find out what makes each of them unique, their advantages, disadvantages, similarities and differences. Also, we will talk about career opportunities for developers working with these frameworks. And most importantly, I will help you understand which framework is best for your project and why. And of course, I will leave some useful links in the description in case you want to boost your knowledge about these mobile technologies. Well, let's start. React Native vs Flutter. What are they for? Ok, first of all, I want to say that both React Native and Flutter are great cross-platform app development frameworks. Moreover, they are the best ones. But they both have their unique purposes, as well as pros and cons. React Native. React Native is a mobile app development framework introduced in 2013 by Meta. It allows for fast development using JavaScript. React Native offers a clear path to creating hybrid mobile apps. It enables developers to build apps for both platforms, using familiar technologies like JSX, React Native components and JavaScript. Today, React Native is used by major companies like Facebook, Instagram, Uber and Walmart. React Native is great for creating apps that work on both Android and iOS platforms, developing mobile applications with JavaScript, building cross-platform apps using a single code base, utilizing the same design principles as React, advantages and limitations. Guys, there is a lot that React Native has to offer. It's incredibly reliable and makes it simple to use native UI elements. It offers hot reloading for rapid changes and supports platform-specific code. And what's absolutely awesome about it, React Native has one of the world's largest UI communities. All the things speed up project development. Thanks to them, React Native developers are highly valued by companies. However, there are notable downsides to this framework. The user interface can be quite complicated. Besides, the framework is still evolving. That makes it challenging to choose additional libraries for features not included in React Native, such as navigation or maps. Flutter Flutter is a mobile UI framework from Google. It lets you create top-notch native interfaces on iOS and Android super fast. It's free, open source and work with existing code. Flutter is great for building desktop apps, progressive web apps and single-page apps. Advantages and limitations because it was released in 2017, Flutter is even younger than React Native. But it can still offer numerous advantages for companies. Flutter stands out for its flexibility and expressive features. It offers a library of scalable widgets, creating customized interfaces with great designs. Its efficient GPU rendering supports modern interfaces and can be easily integrated into apps using WebView. Flutter enables app localization making it super popular on a global scale, with support for various IDEs like Visual Studio Code and Xcode and native ARM code, Flutter apps are reliable, stable, flexible and user-friendly. However, folks, Flutter comes with its limitations too. First of all, it uses Dart, a language you need to learn if you want to use Flutter. Alright, I can say that Dart is very difficult to pick up. But other frameworks like React Native allows developers to use familiar languages like JavaScript. By the way, guys, I have dedicated videos on Dart, Flutter and React Native on my channel. So, if you want to explore these topics some more, feel free to check them out. React Native and Flutter – Similarities Guys, before we move on, I try to make educational content in an entertaining way, make it fun instead of boring. And in return, I just ask you to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. That's all. Before diving into differences, let's first look at what React Native and Flutter have in common. Well, they both are open source frameworks for building cross-platform mobile apps. They both offer features like Hot Reload. This allows developers to see changes in the code instantly, 
without refreshing the application. And this speeds up coding, development and bug fixing. Both React Native and Flutter supports the concept of using a single code base for both Android and iOS platforms. This means apps built on these frameworks can be the same for users on both platforms. And of course, this reduces the amount of testing needed significantly. React Native and Flutter – Main Differences Folks, as you already know, React Native and Flutter are both frameworks designed to achieve similar goals. This makes them great competitors. That's why they have similarities and differences. But you might ask, why is it so important to choose? Why don't I just grab the first framework I like and get to work? Well, guys, your choice can impact on a lot of things. For example, performance, scalability, maintenance, cost and how quickly you can code and launch the app you want to build. The right choice can literally optimize everything, providing a great user experience. And of course, it saves costs in the long run. On the other hand, a wrong choice can lead to challenges. When comparing Flutter and React Native, you will notice several key differences. That set them apart. Programming language React Native uses JavaScript and JSX. Flutter is based on the Dart programming language. Architecture Flutter employs Kia, a 2D graphic rendering library. React Native uses the Flux architecture, which requires JavaScript bridging for interaction between native code and JavaScript. Documentation Flutter has a more organized and structured documentation. React Native's documentation relies heavily on third-party libraries and is less maintained. Installation Installing Flutter involves downloading the binary from GitHub and configuring environment variables. On the other hand, React Native can be installed using simple command via the Node Package Manager. Components Flutter uses its own widgets, ensuring compatibility across platforms. React Native integrates third-party components, allowing more customization but potentially leading to compatibility issues. 3D support React Native offers better support for 3D applications compared to Flutter. Alright, guys, there are more differences between these two frameworks. But I think the ones I listed really show the benefits of both frameworks. And based on this, you as a developer can choose the best fit for your specific projects. Flutter vs React Native – which one is better? Ok, so which one is better after all? Flutter or React Native? Well, guys, it depends. Let's sum up a few things to consider when making your choice. Flutter framework using Dart. It offers high performance due to its efficient compilation. However, Dart is less commonly used, making it harder for developers to learn. React Native relying on JavaScript bridging might be slower than Flutter, but it benefits from a larger community. Its use of JavaScript saves developers time, as it's a widely known language. In terms of testing, React Native requires third-party tools like Detox, but Flutter has integrated testing features. People, lots of experts out there believe Flutter's rising popularity, backed by Google, could make it a front-runner. React Native, supported by a robust community and proven stability, remains popular too. But folks, you shouldn't forget that when you choose a framework to work with, you should also consider other things apart from technical features. I am talking about factors like budget, deadlines and app size. Moreover, the right choice depends on your specific project needs, your preferences as a developer, client requirements, your development team, required performance, and of course, your team's plans for app support and scalability. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Think about this to decide which framework is better for your project and your team's expertise. React Native vs Flutter – Career Opportunities Alright, and now it's time to talk about final question. What the job market looks like for React Native and Flutter developers? Well, I can tell you guys that if you are planning a career that involves working with these frameworks, you have nothing to worry about. In recent years, the demand for mobile app developers has been steadily growing. In fact, it looks like now it's reaching for an all-time high. Moreover, mobile developers are turning to cross-platform solutions for speedy and efficient development. Major companies like Meta, Pinterest, Alibaba and more have successfully embraced cross-platform development. 
Currently, the average salary for React Native developers in the United States is 93,000 per year. At the same time, Flutter developers make as much as 89,000 on average. So, guys, as you can see, the difference is minimal. And I think in both cases, salaries are more than attractive. Alright, my fellow developers, that's all about this React vs Flutter comparison. If you want to boost your skills with these frameworks, feel free to check out these links in the description. They might help you a lot. And if you like my content, please give it thumb up. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that magic subscribe button. Thanks for watching, until next time.